hey internet so new season coming along new haircut i hope you guys like it just a little trim and new handbag i am so happy with this handbag you guys i really have been wanting a new bright bag to add to my collection that would really add a pop of color i hate it when people use that term on youtube because i feel like it's such a strange term that's overused but how else can you describe something like this? It is just a true kiss of color, maybe that's better, um, for my wardrobe to really brighten things up and make things younger and more fun for this beautiful season. It is a gorgeous day outside. I'm wearing shorts over here. Um, and I also didn't want to spend as much money as I have in the past on some of my other handbags because I just wanted to keep it light and easy and just overly not high maintenance. Um, so this is still a pricey bag. It is from Escada, which is a luxury designer from Germany, but they were having a sale on their US website, which is still going on, I think, so I will link it down below in case you guys are interested. And they had some really great deals. So this bag was under four figures, which for me recently has been unusual because I've been really wanting to add to my luxury collection, but it really still has that luxury look about it because I'm such a sucker for luxury bags. Um, and the color is one of the most serendipitous, happy surprises that kind of has happened to me over the last few months because I was expecting it to be the color of cantaloupe. That is how it was described on the website as a kind of creamy orange in the photos. That's exactly what it looks like. Um, and they describe it as being melon, which is kind of not very specific. Um, and when it came and I unboxed it, it really is more of a true corally ready orange, which I think is a lot easier to wear for me. It just is a color that I prefer and so I like it and love it even more than I thought that I would. I really wanted an orange bag for a long time. I posted a photo on Instagram of myself with the LV uh, Montaigne in the apricot color which is their classic orange but that bag is almost $3,000 and I just didn't feel like paying that um, right now for a bag that is such a kind of statement color and isn't going to go with everything. So. Yeah, I got this one. The quality of it, though, I feel like I'm kind of um, making it sound like it's less, less luxurious than my other bags, but that's only price-wise because it is a beautiful buffalo leather that is really velvety to the touch. See how it holds its shape really nicely when I hold it. It's finished beautifully. It's got little feet underneath, which is such a struggle because so many brands like Louis and Chanel don't add feet to most of their handbags. And you're not supposed to put it on the floor, and I really don't, but sometimes you have to put your bag on somewhat questionable surfaces, even if it's a dirty looking counter somewhere, like at the bank or something, I just always kind of cringe at that. Um, so the fact that it has feet is really um, gonna keep it beautiful for a lot longer, which I really like. Um, very simple branding, not a very branded bag other than for this little tiny gold tag at the front and the lining which has Escada written on it in black. It's kind of like a black satin um, print. And then here the side tags are branded but they're E's which is actually my initial as you guys um, no, and uh, the me metal on this is really nice and solid feeling, very heavy, nice hardware, very shiny, bright gold. And um, the E's on this are so cute because they're swivelly. So they actually swivel around on their arc and there's a nice tag on both sides. And if you pull down and just keep the seam of the bag open, you can see it has an accordion um, of leather here to keep everything in place inside the handbag. It also has a traditional zip pocket and two pockets for makeup plus cell phone on the inside as I'll show you when it's empty. So really beautifully made bag, very easy to carry over the shoulder. I wanted an easy tote for summer and I really recommend a bright orange or red for summer. I think they're such bright fun colors, um, really colors that I'm loving. I feel like they're really happy colors as well. Um, so let me know down below what your kind of favorite accessory color is for summer right now because I kind of had a real think about what I wanted and I knew I wanted orange and I'm just so happy with the tone um, that came out with this one when I received it. I now feel like it is respectable to film a what's in my handbag video right now because I have refrained from filming another one for a whole year. Um, so what's in my bag has kind of changed and as you guys know from previous what's in my bag videos if you've been subscribed for a while I really like to keep it real and um, just show you what's currently in it so it doesn't really 
it doesn't really get edited before I film this. Um, you know, it's just what I actually really carry around at the moment. So it does change. Uh, right now it's pretty full because I am a hoarder when it comes to my handbag. And I got this big handbag and just kind of wanted to luxuriate in the space that it gives me because it is a really roomy bag. So first of all, I have my iPhone 6 with the Kate Spade Kate case with the silver stars on it. Really like this case. It is the gold iPhone, which I feel like you can't quite tell because of the case, but it does keep my phone nice and new looking. Then I have a little booklet of bus passes, very necessary for me since I don't really drive here in Vancouver. Then I have some Roto eye drops. You can only get these in the States, not in Canada. I really like them. They keep my eyes really moisturized. I'm dog sitting uh, my mom's puppy lady. So if you're here you're yapping in the background, that's why. Then I have my Chanel Translucent Powder. This is the Poudre Universelle Compact in Translucent or 20 uh, Clair. So it's like a lighter color. Very little actual pigmentation to this. It's just really a great blotting powder. I always have that in my bag. So that's it for what is in the pockets. Oh, except for this one. This is such an oldie but a goodie. In fact, it looks so gross, you guys. It's kind of melted. It's pretty hot here in Vancouver right now. Um, this is the Nivea Fruity Shine in Cherry. I love this lip balm. It's honestly what I wear, like, most of the time when I'm not at home and haven't, like, done my face. Like, what I'll put on after lunch or something. That's what I always reach for. Then I have my little... Um, essentials case. So this is like my emergency case or whatever you want to call it. It's just, it's not makeup. It's other little things that I really need. And this is from Ferragamo. It's a really pretty periwinkle blue color with this super cute little elephant. It was a birthday gift from my boyfriend. He got it in Asia. So I think it might actually be an Asia exclusive, but I'm not sure. Um, and I just love how cute this is. I always have it with me. And inside I have a little tube of Advil, very necessary. I have some feminine products. I have little toothpicks. These are by Gum. Oh my gosh, the case looks so gross, you guys. I don't know why it looks so dirty. I'm sorry. Um, but those are really useful if you get food stuck in your teeth and you don't want to carry around like a full toothbrush set. I really like that. Then I have some equally mangy looking clean and clear blotting sheets. I don't really use those that much because I'm not as oily on the face as I used to be so mostly I just use my powder and then I have a whole bunch of little scrunched up band-aids. I have my Kindle e-reader e and a really pretty Tiffany blue uh, cover. What am I reading right now? I'm still reading The Collector by Nora Roberts. It's taken me forever to get through that book because I've been so busy recently and traveling a lot for work. So I have my Sunnies. So these are from Dior. The case is also Dior but from my actual reading or not reading glasses, my prescription glasses. Um, so I do carry them in this case because it's a lot smaller than the case that the sunglasses came with. I love these sunglasses. They are the only ones that I wear out of my huge collection other than my Ray-Ban. So I wear my Ray-Ban sometimes and sometimes when I want more of like a glamorous Jackie O look, I wear these ones and they are the Dior Somerset F, if you're wondering. Um, I think that's a reference number. So I really like these. I love that they only touch at the nose here. They're not heavy and they don't touch anywhere else even when I smile so they don't smudge my makeup. Then I have my keychain. So I have my work pass and gym pass in here and then all of my keys. This is my Louis Vuitton clay in the multicolor finish. I believe it's now discontinued but I really really like this because it works for all seasons and it stayed so nice since I've gotten it. So I'm also equally still using my Louis Vuitton Koala wallet um, from the Multicolor line. It's very stuffed and bloated looking right now. Can you see that? Fits so much, you guys, but it's still a really nice small size. So even if I switch to a smaller handbag, it still works for that. It's from Burberry, so it's a really pretty shell color. The only thing I don't like is... Okay, so you saw how my handbag has a leather on the sides and it comes up really high so things don't spill out. This isn't really designed like that, so a lot of stuff sp spills out if I keep it too full. Inside, I have a little compact hairbrush. I have a Laura Mercier lip gloss in the color Gossamer, really nice baby pink. I have an old kind of smushed up um, Clé de Peau concealer in beige. So this is my old one. I use my new one in the morning and then I just keep this one on hand in case I have a zit that will need touching up throughout the day. I have a little sample of BB Texture Cream. 
I have, oh my gosh, this is a must-have for me. I use this a lot as well. Um, this is my Dior Lip Glow. I love this thing. It really adjusts to your natural lip color, so it's a really pretty kind of mid-tone pink on my lips. I have a bunch of hair elastics here kind of jumbled up. Then I have a little package of tissues. So necessary. I feel like I'm always surrounded by boys with grimy fingers who need napkins. Um, I just, I use these so much. Um, it's really such a thing, especially if you go to food trucks, like they don't, I don't know, they never have napkins. And I'm always in a napkinless situation where I feel grateful for that, so. And finally, this is something I never would have dreamed of carrying before, but um, during the summer, sometimes strappy heels really hurt you guys. Like after, I don't know, if I go out for drinks after work or something and I'm wearing like really high strappy heels and my feet hurt, I've just been loving carrying around a pair of flats. And I got these Teeks ones and the main purpose for me was to wear them to travel because they are foldable, they're very light and easy and you can just kind of fold them and they come in this little pouch. So they're super great. I'll show you the other one so you can see what they look like as a pair. And I love that they give you this little pouch because then if you want to, you can just keep them in your bag. So I don't know if I'm gonna keep carrying them around forever, but because they're new and they're kind of a novelty to me, I have been doing that. Um, this is the rose gold leather finish and it's kind of like a crackled effect that I really like. I think I might do a full review on my blog for when this video goes up so check below because I'll put a link um, and what I'll do is I'll do an outfit of the day of myself wearing these so you can see what they look like because I just feel like that's really helpful and then I'll tell you my thoughts on them and whether I think they're worth it. That is it for the bag so let me show you the inside. You can see how incredibly roomy is that. You can fit the whole world inside this but then of course you will really hurt your back so um, don't do like me and put so much stuff in your tote um, but if you do I totally get you because I do the same. So you can see the little zip pocket here, then the two little pockets right here. Um, the black lining is nice. It's a little hard to find stuff inside it, but because it opens up so wide, I actually find because it opens so wide, I can actually find things better in here than I can in my Chanel Grand Shopping tote. Um, it really is a nice comparison size-wise to the Louis Vuitton Galliera. Um, I feel like they're very comparable sizes, but that one doesn't come in any fun colors. So I'm so happy I found this one, and I really just am happy to push myself outside of my my usual kind of designer comfort zone. It's nice to try something new. It's nice to try something in a slightly lower price bracket where I still feel like the quality and workmanship is, you know, comparable and just as enjoyable for me at least. So I hope that you guys like this little summer bag haul and what's in my bag combination. Thank you so much for watching. If you would like to see more style videos, both luxury and affordable, make sure you subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye.